At first, it was unidentifiable. It could have been a small mouse. It could have been a sock. Anything in between. Slightly furry, looked soft but firm. And I reached out carefully to make sure that it wasn't something the dog had left behind. My goal was to move this thing out of the way so that I could continue crawling toward the toilet in time. You see, pain wakes me up, and when I think I can stand up, I get a little message that says, get on your knees. So when you ask me if I pray, of course I pray. I'm down there anyway. Why not? Why not? Pascal's wager. What if you lived your life as if there was a God, an all-knowing being, maybe even in some cases an interventionist being who answered your specific prayers, meditations, thoughts, a little pompous maybe, like, oh, there's someone just watching out for me, like, I'm going to pray my team wins, right? Well, what about the team that loses? Why would God just answer mine and not the other team's prayers? I always wondered about that. Maybe we can pray that we do the best we can, specifically when we are in service. And I want to be in service to this house and move this little rat, sock, piece of poop out of the way as well. Of course I want to get to the bathroom. My pain is unbelievable. I can't walk on my left side. I don't know why. I didn't get the right x-ray, or I fell too many times, or the MRI is terrifying when you have metal in your head. All these tests. And then you get the test back, and every doctor reads it slightly differently. Make sure you get a CD, this woman tells me. She wants to go over my, my notes. And I'm so grateful that I have many eyes on this. I never would have thought to ask for verification. I just, they give you the test, you leave. They don't even hand you a paper sometimes. You just assume they know what they're doing. You know, I've had so many of these. So it wasn't poop. It wasn't a rat. It was a bottle of paint that had rolled under the corner of the cabinetry. And I didn't know it was open. So as I dragged it into the <laughs> trash, there was a line of this bright purple all over my kitchen and to see the trajectory I had actually had a physical line of where I had been crawling <laughs> up into the sink to get the water for the meds back down there was this big circle of purple my uh my breadcrumbs left behind for the next person but I'm hoping you don't have to crawl which is why I talk like this do yourself a favor and take very good care of your body uh you don't get seconds. You don't get, you know, this isn't a dress rehearsal. This is real. The damage we do to our bodies when we're young and foolish. I'm still foolish. I'll always be foolish. But I know I'm not young. So I crawl back to bed. Then I realize my brain is on. It's time to wake. So let's roll. What's going to happen today? I wonder what's going to happen today. Have a great one.